Hello guys, welcome back to our tutorial. Today we'll talk about the fifth topic, which is geoprocessing. What geoprocessing is about is basically, um, you see these slides. It's basically these tools. Okay, when you uh, open up your software, you will find in the catalog the toolbox you have like a lot of tools in here. Like in every toolbox, you have like a small tools associated with it even smaller so there's a lot of tools okay you don't need to know every tool uh, you just need to know uh, get used to uh, and try some essential tool that is helpful on you know landscape planning site selection that the tools that is helpful for your decision making okay so basically I will introduce some tools and the concepts to you uh, and hope you can like it. So let's start. Before I start, I want to uh, introduce uh, search bar, which is in here. So basically, um, it's here. You have search bar, right? If well, sometimes it doesn't show up. If like it doesn't show up like this, if you your page you don't have search bar, you just you just you just click uh, geoprocessing here and search for tools. When you click it, it will show up in here. Okay. So for example, when we talk about clip in here, so this is the first tool we're gonna talk about clip. Sometimes it's hard to find when you like a, you know, because there's so much tools you don't know where clip was. So usually, what I just do, I just search clip, and then you will have it. So the first clip we have is this one okay when you click it then you have it just make sure it's the same clip okay the parameters are the same so when we talk about clip when we talk about geoprocessing uh, is actually these tools so when you open up the tools you will have parameters this like um, space you need to enter so they can run it all right so let's start. So so for clip, uh, let's say I have uh, you know database. Let's say in the junks. Let's say I have um, I have agricultural facilities. I have upstate counties. And I have um, major highways, lakes and rivers. So yeah, let's say I have these four layers. I also have a layer called Greenwall County, and this only includes one. So what if I want to delete all the data in other counties? Just include, you know, Greenwall County. The content in Greenwell County. So what I need to do is just I need to clip, right? So that's basically what clip was doing. So when you click, so what you need to do is just clip, just do clip, right? And uh, the first is the input feature, input features. One tip about this, uh, there is a button called Show Help. When you click it. Then when you click every parameter, they will show what this parameter was to mean, right? Like input feature is the feature to be clipped. So in this case, uh, let's say I want to clip the major roads, major highways, right? So there are a couple of ways to to put stuff in in this in here. One way is through this triangle, they automatically detect the layers that's available. So you just click major highways. Then it will be here. The other way is even easier. You just, you know, if for example, this is the layers you want to put in there. You just drag to there. Then it will be there. Like the clip features, the feature used to clip the input feature, I can just drag the county there. Then it will be there. Okay? Um, and the third way is just click the browser. And go to your geodatabase and browse the, the the layers down there. 
Okay. Uh, one important thing, really important thing, you need to remember is what's important is that you have to make sure the output feature class is right. Because if it's wrong, for example, it's saved in this path, then sometimes you are lost, lost it. Okay. Um, that's the issue that happened again and again. So I strongly recommend you make sure the output feature is right. Okay. So in this case, it's not right. I want you save. I want to save it into the junk. So I want to save in the junk, and I name it like um, major highway clip. Then the path was right. That one. So after this, I click OK. So just click OK. So wait a minute. Just wait a minute, and then there is like the jump up a window. I think a new layer was created called Major Highway Clip. And if you go to Calroc, the Major Highway Clip was here. So when you cancel the previous one, see here, only the highway in the Google account was show in this layer, and and the data. I'm pretty much the same. See here, um, they keep the information about on the table or anything, right? And they and they will recalculate the lens because some are like clipped, right? So, so this is a clip, okay? Uh, what I want to show you on this one is the basic basics of geoprocessing. It's a tool. It's it's basically was running tools, okay? Then using the model, okay. This is really really important part of geo processing, okay. Uh, because usually I we don't run tools, just click and enter it here, right? We do it like this, but um, we don't do it in our studio because this is not an efficient way. There's a a, a more efficient way to run tools. Um, it is through what we call here. Model Builder, okay. When you click Model Builder, there is an empty canvas. It's a really powerful tool, believe me, okay. What you can do for this was, for example, we let's say I want to, I will use um, clip, right. So what you gonna do is just drag in there. Then it was there, okay. You can drag multiple times. And let's say there's the uh, there are another tool we need to use, which is extract actually extract by mask is in special analysis. So you just drag it in there. Then it was there. Okay? Okay. So it's pretty it's a really good way that to save the tools. Okay, so you don't need to find out in here again, right? It's always be here, and you can copy and paste. For example, you select the tool, Control C, Control V, then copy and paste. Okay, uh, I usually, for example, I will use clip and extract by mask. I usually just copy and paste, and usually uh, leave two tools on the top, and then I will use the tools. At the bottom, so I don't. I will not like change anything on these two. I will use these two. Okay. All right. But every time before you use the model, uh, what you need to do is to set up geoprocessing environment. Um, you, the way to do it is through you will find a geoprocessing here, and you will find environment. Environment. Okay. We click environments. You find a lot of options. Um, there are a couple of things you you have to set up before you do geo processing. Because if you don't set set up this really well, you will have some errors and you know and your calculation will be wrong. Uh, just make sure this is all right. Okay. The first one is workspace. What this is about is just telling the geo processing the model um, where you want to save your data in and where are your data coming from. Um, so let's just say 
in this case, uh, most of the material is in junks. I click add, and this one is also junks. I click, I click it. So just make sure, just set up the, you know, the workspace as the main geo database you are using. Okay. And our coordinates, you don't need to change that. Processing extend. What processing extend is help you set set up the um, the extent of of the calculations. Okay, um, just tell them what kind of calculation you want to do. So in the, in this case is, for example, in this case, if you want, if I want to do calculations in Greenwell County, then I will set the Greenwell County as my calculations. Calculation. So the areas space outside of Greenwell County, I will. I'm telling the computer don't calculate that because it will save a lot of uh, computing time. However, in this case, uh, upstate counties is my is actually my main, you know, processing count extent because I will we will do something later on this. So. Let's just choose upstate county. And uh, the other thing was, and the last thing was raster analysis. This was usually used on raster calculations, because um, when your map, your jazz producing raster layers, you will tell them the um, the cell size you want to create. Usually, to me, the best cell size is um, is usually 100. Okay. Um, it, 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 it's based on like a what kind of resolution your map created. It, 100 is it's like a to me it's like the best resolution. So just remember this number 100. Okay. Then click OK. I have uh, I have some notes on here, uh, which is workspace processing standard raster size. Okay. Please remember. Okay, every time you use the model, just do this. All right, all right. Then the next thing you need to do is create a toolbox, which is a right click, new. There is an option called new toolbox. You need to click, click that. The reason for this is toolbox is the only place places that you can save your model, because you know when you close the model and you close. Your database, your the JS, the ArcMap, you know, the, you lost everything. Okay, but a toolbox can help you save it. For example, if I click save, I can show like uh, in junks. I want to save in toolbox. I can give a name called uh, tutorial and save. So. For example, I close it, but it's showing up here. What I do is just right click and click edit. Do you know, open up and all the tools and everything keep the same. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so let's just try some uh, tools in here. We're talking about the clip, extract by mask. Um, these two tools uh, is the ones that help you. Cut the data to the Greenwell County. Okay. The other tool I need is called a buffer. You can search buffer. Remember, uh, it's in analysis. Okay. I just drag, drag down here. So I just copy and paste down here. All right. So let's try the same thing for major highways in here, okay? Uh, let's just delete the major highway and keep the initial one. And let's delete the major highway again. We what we just created. Okay, delete that. All right. So we have this kind of uh, what tools in here, right? Uh, every tool in the model builder is like a workflow. Um, when you double click it, the same window we just saw, right? From when you click from here, let's back to clip. Right, the same thing. 
But here is really easy because all you all you need to do is just drag the data in here, and you see there's a color, right? And drag to drag the data you need, and use this collect tool, click and collect the tool, the tools, right? Just drag, collect the input to the tools. Okay, you just need um. For example, uh, the major highways, I just drag and collect to here. Then you can select what kind of parameter was major highway. In this case, it's input features, right? And for Greenwell County, it's clip features, right? So these are the input, these are the tool, and this is the output, okay? You will find that like all of these three are in color. That means it's ready to run. That means like, um, in all the necessary parameters already, okay? But you need to uh, open, still open up the tools and check if everything was right, okay? Because sometimes um, there are things go go wrong, okay? In this case, uh, major highways what I wanted, Greenwald County is what I wanted, and the feature class is what I wanted. I just click apply and it make sure the output the feature class, the you know output. It's where I want to save it. It's in Django. It's a Django Django base. So nothing wrong with. It. I click OK, right? So pretty cool. Okay. So what I need to do is just right click, and there's a run here. There's two ways to run. Okay. One is there is a button here called run. So when you click it, you will run, you know, all the tools. Okay. That's ready to run. But right now we are using right click the clip, and um, there is option could run. We click run and just wait, then it's finished. Okay, so you'll see shadows in the you know in the tools and the output. That means you know this tool was run. It's finished. Okay. So your database you will see the major highway clip was there. Alright? But it's not showing on the map on the table of contents. There's a really convenient way, you just right click and add to display. Okay, let's just cancel that. Cancel major highways, you see here? You can like add to display, cancel it. You can add to display. You can cancel and you can add. Pretty cool way to find out your data, okay? That's clear. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try, let's say, uh, let's try DM. Yeah, let's try DEM. So what extract by mask was is actually um, the clip tool for rasters. Because the clip tool can only, you see here the input can only be the features, which is the vector. But how about I want to cut the rest, the rest, the rest of data like DEM. What you just do, you just drag in here and collect. So as you input the raster, because look at this, the two options. One is input the raster, the other is input the raster and feature mask data. It's like the so mask data is like a clip features, okay? It's in this case it's county. Greenwell County. Okay? Uh, and I I said it as uh, input raster and feature mask data. Okay? So they will cut the DM into only the area and keep it only the area in Greenwald County. Okay, so let me just make sure the output was right. Here it's in Junks database and name it as extract DM. Cool. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just right click and click run. Let me add to display. Then you will see it shows I'm here perfectly. Right. So this, basically, this is how you want to, you know, clip, okay? You want to clip the data, okay? Um, moreover, because it's a workflow data, you actually can use the result of one tool into the input of the other tool. For example, the buffer, uh, actually what buffer do is basically, for example, for the buffer, uh, it's actually create like a buffer zone of your feature class. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use major highways. You can use point data, polygons, or all kinds of vector data. Okay. Um, 
I just use this as the input feature. Okay, and double click it, and there's some more parameters I need to enter. Okay, um, I can choose how I want to buffer it. In this case, uh, I want to, I would like to buffer, um, let's say, 0.5 miles. You can change the unit here. Okay, here we use miles. I want to buffer 0.5 miles and make sure the output was right. Major highway. Buffer. I want to change to menu hardware buffer. Um, pretty cool. I just click apply, and we show it's ready to run. Okay, and then just right click, and I run it. There you go. See the shadow finish. I just add to display. The you will see. See here, it, it buffer every row. So this, no, this is the highway. And it buffer it over 2.5 miles. Okay, pretty cool. Next time you want to use clip again, you just copy and paste, right? And you can just like um, you know, collect it again, this clip feature and uh, clip the other parts. Okay, to me it's really easy. In this video, you have to learn to use the model. Okay. Um, let me just save it. When you save it, you close it. Next time, we right click and edit. It still be here. Okay, really, really cool. All right. Um, as, as kind of a reminders, just make sure you check the name and the folder location of the output. Um, because in the past, many students lost all the data they created because they don't look at the output feature class like here. All right. It's really important. Just, you have have to remember where you save your data. Alright? So I lay I lay out some important tools in here um, which you gonna use. We I also gonna talk about in the second lecture on geoprocessing. What I'm gonna show you is if you don't understand some tools, well there's a lot of tools, but um, some tools it's hard to understand. Uh, what you're gonna do is for example I want to learn where what clip me or clip do right so there's a really good way you just show help and there's poor help you just click it then you will have like a lot of uh, see here where we did basically it's an article about this tool what this tool do what this tool need or the syntax they even give you like the initial code okay Pretty cool today. Um, just make sure you definitely follow me on this tutorial. Definitely try what I did. Okay, create a model and run some run clip buffer and extract by mask in there. Okay, you can even try some other tools. Okay, just talk to me, ask me questions, send me email if you have any questions or even. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.